flawless victory. Hey guys, Mono here with a new Helldivers video. This time I'll be going over a very easy strategy to clear out both the elimination and the escort missions from the current defensive campaign against the automatons. If you've joined a squad of randoms trying to pull these off, you know just how badly they can turn out. But the strategy I'm gonna show you absolutely trivializes these missions. Basically, there's only one thing you need, and that is turrets. Lots of turrets. It's absolutely essential everyone brings both the EMS mortar and the regular mortar turret. The automaton ships will be dropping enemies off to either side of the map, so you want to drop these up high to either side of the big tower in the elimination mission. The EMS turret will disable anything that lands, and given all troops get deployed at the same time and are all bunched up together, the regular mortar will be twice as effective at absolutely destroying every single enemy squadron. The mortar can also destroy tanks and heavies with ease, so that's pretty much all you need to handle even the biggest threats that the automatons have available. However, given the sheer volume of dropships and enemies at higher difficulties, this won't be enough to handle every threat, and that's where the rest of the turrets come into play. For the elimination mission, place rocket and autocannon turrets off to the side around the middle of that main landing area, so you have a clear view of the ramps or loads leading up to the main tower. Make sure they don't get obstructed by buildings, and what's gonna happen is they will target the dropships and often take them out before they are actually able to complete their drops, and anything that does survive is going to get blasted as soon as they try to make their way up. For the escort mission, things are going to be a bit different. First off, place a few mortars around the landing area and others around the middle of the map to get enough coverage, and instead of bringing the autocannon and rocket turrets, I recommend bringing in some hard-hitting strikes and some support weapons to take out their heaviest units and thin out the medium armor units. I recommend bringing in an orbital laser and the 500 kilogram bomb Eagle Strike. The 500 kilogram bomb will take care of basically anything that it lands on and pairs extremely well with the EMS mortar. I would stay clear of any of the orbital artillery strikes because they are way too inaccurate and unpredictable and the area is way too small for them to be useful without TKing half your squad or worse, TKing your own turrets. If your turrets go down, preemptively during this mission, you will be in a whole lot of trouble, so avoid drawing fire to them or doing anything that potentially puts them at risk. Keep the laser as backup until that moment when things really start going south, and if there's multiple dudes in the squad that have the stratagem, make sure you coordinate their use, don't drop two of them at once because it will almost surely be complete overkill and then they'll be on cooldown when you actually need them. Lastly, bring either shield backpacks, railguns, or autocannons to help clear out hordes of enemies. Civilians will die during this mission, I don't think there's a way to avoid that given the insane amount of units that the game throws at you during this whole thing, but hey, we can't have democracy without some sacrifice. Make sure you have one Helldiver close to each of the doors, spamming the button as quickly as it's available because you want to get this done as fast as possible as things will get increasingly more desperate the more you linger. The coolest thing about this strategy is that if you have the extra ammo module for the turrets, they will still have plenty of shots left by the time your cooldown is back up, and if you drop another turret, it won't replace the ones that are already deployed. So near the end of the mission, you'll have nearly twice as many turrets as you did at the start. This strategy is so effective, especially for the elimination mission, there's actually several moments when there's just no enemies around, which means you can have someone bring a shield backpack and run around collecting samples, though if you do want to farm supplies, I wouldn't recommend you try that out in this mission. And that's pretty much it guys, if you don't have all four turrets unlocked, definitely work towards that as they are exceedingly useful against the automatons. But if you need to bring something else, just default to the loadout for the escort missions, so autocannon, railgun, orbital laser and 500kg bomb. 
The auto cannon will require you land headshots on the hogs or shoot at their backs and the same goes for the tanks. You need to shoot the backside of their turret to do any damage to them. You can also use the anti-material rifle which is like the wish version of the auto cannon if you're too low level to unlock the auto cannon just yet. It's not as effective but it's still pretty damn good actually. Recoilless rifle and disposable AT rifles are also good options though you probably won't get enough uses out of the disposable rifle if the increased cooldown effect is on. In that case, I'd recommend the recoilless rifle with hopefully someone using the backpack to reload you. So that's it. Full mortar loadout for elimination, half mortar, half hard hitting support weapons and strikes for the evac. Make sure you leave your own recommendation and tips down below in the comment section for this, but be aware that any information that disagrees with what I say will be reported to the Ministry of Truth. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.